At Dakar's Pesto Institute, a sense of urgency. Dr. Anasek gathers her team. Their task, to develop vaccines before an outbreak begins. The one that we're working on is uh, RVF. RVF stands for Rift Valley Fever, a deadly virus transferred from mosquitoes to animals to humans. Outbreaks are common in Africa and Asia. Czech, trained in biomedical science in Canada, Khadija in Belgium, and Manu here in Dakar. I feel proud because you can see that the different scientists that you meet here all left like interesting project abroad to come to Senegal because this project uh, carries so much hope for all of us. They are making messenger RNA vaccines developed during the COVID-19 pandemic to teach the body cells to recognize a virus and defend against it without using the live virus itself. RNA vaccine will allow us to develop a vaccine much quicker than what we would have for a cell-based platform, for example. Sec, who specializes in genetics, left her research in the United States when the Trump administration's health secretary started cutting funding for RNA vaccines at home and abroad. Scientists worldwide have said U.S. funding cuts are a major setback. I'm not going to comment on domestic politics of the United States, but here in Senegal and in Africa and globally, we know that research on vaccines is a priority if you are serious about saving life. And this was, that's what we are doing. So we are working with all partners who are willing to put money into research. The United Kingdom is stepping in, offering crucial support for vaccine manufacturing. For the United Kingdom, we strengthen our ability to respond to threats and we reinforce our scientific leadership and deepen ties with African-led innovation. Part of it goes into this mobile safety lab. It's in these cramped conditions that the scientists are getting ready to deploy to a mission in a remote part of the country where there's going to be a religious gathering. Their mission is to anticipate the threat of a potential outbreak before it happens. These scientists were the first to detect mpox in Senegal last month. African researchers and their funding partners are becoming the world's early warning system, stepping up while others step back, better prepared for the next pandemic. Nicholas Hawk, Al Jazeera, Dakar. Don't miss out. Get the full picture. Subscribe to Al Jazeera for reliable news, expert insight. Like, share, stay ahead.